that this is going to be an A hit. I send trying to up the ante just a little bit, and that toxic screen's going to be a dead giveaway. And Shallow's got stunned by the Trailblazer. Oh, that still came in in time, and the flash is so helpful. But still, CNET is there to give it a man advantage. The double wall it is. The slight edged Angel is using, and he's on it. The double has been secured by the IGL, and there's more to come from the side of FBX. But well, most definitely, Bone Calls having none of that. That spike's gonna go dime, as obviously you need to find two of those. You don't really split them up at that point. You gotta go for the fight and seek as the first up. At hand, no chance at all. Bone Cold gets the triple. Set themselves into potential contenders for the top spot with a win over G2. And it's another rough opening for Dimasic. And Orbital oh. Strike is going to be used on site. And finally, Shadow can get their first kill on the team. Trade it out. It's a worse buy for us. And they're still on Spectres and stuff. So FPX really don't want to lose this one. And they're a player down. And they still got a Lurk coming over from mid, but that one is going to come in as reinforcement over to the B side any second. And there's a revive. CNET could obviously try to get Starks back in action. He definitely does. They want to keep a major man advantage in this, as there should be no possibility for FPX. We know those guys are capable of clutching out rounds, which just seem impossible. But when someone is backstabbing you like that, most likely no chance. Once more one in the back and Buka. No reinforcements at that point in time. He's the sole survivor. How does he get one? I have no idea. He's just, he's just basically absolutely known. The snake bite's coming oh, in. Finally, he's oh, been eliminated. Oh, and Demas, it can just work perfectly off of that tripwire. But Zeke and Co have now arrived on the site. And that's just absolute disaster once more. The A site belongs to them. Demas, it waits back in lamps. Hopes that nothing comes in. But obviously... The cavalry has arrived in form of Angel. Two versus two, that could still work for FPX. And finally, the clearance they would need. But the miracle that would have been performed by Angel could have gone the 4K. Ain't happening. And that means Seek sneaking around. Lamps is right now his territory. But Shadow very much got that on the radar. Onto the right hand side, he finds him. And FPX, there they are. There they come, and there's the first round, finally. He's coming in, Stim Beacon down, they're gonna try and execute through, and the Showstopper's uh -oh. coming in from Zeke. Oh, Zeke's fast, and Zeke's gonna not work here, it could work, hold on. Shadow's still alive with 8 HP, that's crazy, and Angel's pit is obviously as useful as ever. He's just playing on the edge of it, makes a double work, the triple is not secure, but it does Jason. Matter of fact, and Stark's so still alive, tries to go for a little more, that is not happening. The quad he got, the ace is not granted. Ultimate, you want to just sort of have a shot at in the dark. Mm. I think that's why Shao's playing a bit further back on an A site. If an execute comes in, maybe throws it out when they're planted, but B is more likely to pressure area. Dimasic <laughs> gets two. The Guardian and the Angel working together to try and get some work done. And now Ascend wants to play a bit further back. That Neural Theft is used to jig is up, but they're resetting, trying to hit on the A site, and Shao is there waiting alongside Angel. Map control being the vital part of this because once you got that spike down and got all the corners checked, it's just time to put left. the pit up. And once that thing's coming in, you most definitely have a big hard time to regain control over on the side. But as I say that, they still have lost at least Seek. It's not gonna make it easier, but we saw Stark. So you just mentioned him, and the man just keeps on showing why he's such a goddamn good sky. And as I say that, the flank for Angel pays off. What in God's name is that? Of course, the map pool, at least the first two, really suit the playstyle of both these teams. They have that aggression, that technical ability, but it's all about the mind games. And Zeke, the newest addition to this Ascend lineup, able to break on through. Zipan is going to try and peek oh, it out and no. duel him. It's Clay Pigeon shooting for Zipan, but he's only able to get two. Yeah, I mean, you have to say at that point in time, you might just try to come in here as the Zeke Airlines, but no chance. Get them from elimination today, at least. But whoever wins qualifies, Ooh. and Shadow just manages to get it's out. Nasty. That's, that's that's absolutely absurd. Seek is still not hitting his pack according to plan, oh and that's the speed. But the Molotov's working fine. Slipping down to 16, but nevertheless, train. control should be coming in. Shao with the right dart at that point in time, and it's only two remaining. But obviously, one of the two, they've seen that mentioned previously, he's not playing his classic duelist. That doesn't make him any less lethal, though, as he slows them down. No opportunity to enter over there. 
from CT directly on the side. He has been tagged. Unfortunate for him, but still, Kilesh is on it. The duo seems to once more prevail, or at least this is what it looks like. They have to pretty much build up the wall. No access granted, no trespassing allowed, and the bouncer's not letting you in for that point in time. He can pop ahead. Doesn't matter which agent. Xiao is still on it, but the retake, it's consuming so much time at that point. Kilesh is being dinged. Xiao is still on it. He's taking him out, and if there was actually a need to peek, I'm not quite sure. The utility to try and out him from this position, it's going to be a pain, and he's oh, yeah. constantly being a pain in that spot. But Zeke trying to dodge the orbital strike manages to get out. Unfortunately, his teammate Keela is stuck in a bit of a bind. Now, Xiao doesn't have that recon doubt available, has to wait about 25 seconds now. And the Seekers is going to break <laughs> this wall. That's actually a nice little bit of tech to at least create a bit of space overall. But Cned's position not giving Ooh. up, but Zipan's there to hunt him down. And they get nothing really to deny that. I mean, Bone Cole surely would have a Molotov, but there's nothing else really that can be done, except obviously Starks are swinging wide, the defuse is still going on, Starks are tries to retreat. But there's no opportunity for him. And that means it's FPX who might just bounce back and get... Very aggressive, punchy nave, uh, nature of Ascend. And they're going for peaks like that. The showstopper is going to come in from Zeke. He slips no and slides around and catches the IGL of Angel. Yeah, and the slip and slide pretty much... Got the attention of everybody back on B. This is where they try to capitalize on everybody paying attention to Seek. That worked off brilliantly. Well, another round that seems impossible. Another round that could be a retake done by Xiao. I'm really having a deja vu at this point. Right? I think we saw this already. I'm not quite sure if this round has already happened. Might we just be caught in the simulation? But nevertheless, Seek's fallen down. The they don't man. have the Sage Wall this time, no, so uh, this is where Dimisic is going to try and press from. The Eldron is going to shut up. The site's pretty clear, so they're going to know it's either Hooker or A Lobby. And look at that. Dimisic is still taking a very long swing, and Starks knows about him. He's, he's somewhat out. trapped. Easy pre-fire. Dimisic not even having a problem. We're talking about a 4 versus 2 that might be just thrown away, but as I say that, Shao is the last man standing for the left-hand site. Bone cold. Ratty FPX holds, and there's the orbital strike clearing up the back of the A site, and here comes the execution. Well, you see the flames that was coming down to the side. Shao has pretty much also given the flames to Starko and seen it. They don't really prevail in that fight. But the control... Cage triggered. So the site belongs to no one really yet. Spikes going down, that's for sure. Keyless planted. Assisting his teammate right there, but it might be just well that annoying Tasmanian tiger getting some of you being stunned at that point in time is very uncomfortable. You know where Shadow is though, and this means only two can make a job work. Make it one actually. He's trying his best. But there will hardly be any chance that he's turning this one around. It would be a clutch by the book. But it's a half by the book. Nikki, he stays, waits for anyone to show himself too wide, but he's shooting a little early. Starkso coming in though! It's the flashbang that is going to deny the plan! And what? Starkso goes on! The piss around seems to belong him. Seen that a ceiling of frack. It could have been his ace, but it doesn't even matter. Ascent should have never had this. Xiao could be once more the clutch minister taking this one away, but he needs to be just there with an iron fisted performance, not relinquishing once. That should be impossible. 45 points of health, a few body shots, and he's just down in the grave, but he's still taking his time. A real dart could just give him a little bit of information if he even wants to use that. But he seems to wait patiently left. for a mistake that should come out of the side of Ascent. It's still oh. not there. CNET is not going to lose his life. Starkso's here with the... Because that utility's coming in and FBX not afraid to let left. themselves know that they're coming in onto this A site. No pressure on laps just yet. CNET's oh, done a great God. job of holding it down, but Keyless takes a peek. These anti-plants have been insane and FBX shut down with only one kill under their... ...to break because even though the Seekers came in from shadow even a guide in light the wall even one chunk of it broke it just narrows the sight line it makes means it's difficult to take open jewels where you're not just oh, gonna be fishing nice. a barrel sprayed down the bay and angel's gonna try and peek here he's managed to get a kill before in the last one oh. and cnet's off is out in his hands cnet is just absolutely annoying for those guys i mean individually speaking you saw it when he was actually in the defending side constantly pushing the boundaries and again a spike has been delivered as Keyless most likely should die to the concussion it is not happening man still alive 40 points of health obviously not any easier but well the drama continues and as shadow can just dodge the explosive a bit not too much 
FPX. What are we gonna do about this? Michelle is going to wait and peek slowly into the line of an operator. Tina just needs to bob it down a little bit. One just one kill, now two for Shadow. He's 20 HP and has to kill all three members against G2 earlier this week. But now he's up against probably the best jet in the world. Sorry, Tens. But right now, see that is finding those kills. Zeke is going to play off of it. The double duelist is going to be scary, but Shadow redeems himself from the last series where he didn't quite have the same impact as Starzo. He's broken this down, and Cena needs to find a place where he can plant this spike. No. Oh, <laughs> he was dodging the bullets, and suddenly this is happening. Bone Cold, unfortunately, is whiffing. This is what Cena is looking for. A round that is obviously pretty much done and dusted can still turn around. We know that this man is just pulling the rabbit out of the head any day. Magic performances like Copperfield definitely come from this guy, and as he hears all the stabs, they don't know where he's oh, no. coming from, and the tension is building. Fights oh, the no. first. Does he also get the one? No, he doesn't know what's happening. Over on his right inside, does he get shot? No, he doesn't! He's still taking that one home, and you see the cheer- Bandal in the hands of Zeke. A lovely approach. That hero vandal, but it's immediately taken out of the game. Zeke's gonna say bye bye. Thank you for the rifle. See Ned says, or well, he's giving it over to Starks. A very Shadow. understandable decision, but well, he's gonna lurk oh, around in the corner. Okay. He's not even getting one of those. It's Sippin, who's capitalizing on all the players pushing in. At least Starks is getting one, but how much more is he able to get out of this? A bit more passively on the B side because Dimisic has his camera in place. Michelle's gonna go walk about, but Zeke knows he's going to maybe attempt something of that ilk. The follow-up for Dimisic might actually catch him out. Oh, uh, no, that's that's not that easy against Zeke. The awareness of this lad is just out of book. I'm absolutely enjoying that. And Zeke is going further. But there you go. It seems like you pretty much made it possible that Angel is picking up this weapon due to your wordplay here, Ryan. And well, let's say it like that. I very much enjoy it. I don't think he'll mind this much, really. I think he's more busy focused on the series overall. Can't that's imagine. been nice to see FBX. Perform a lot better. I think the series against Guild was a really interesting one. Hmm. Guild Guild's icebox is even better. I don't think it's as cut as dry, black and white as one team good, one team bad. There's multiple layers on how they play these rounds. And FBX, clearly their icebox is good. Still winnable overall for Ascend. They're playing in for the post plan. And now just up to Starzo. The Seekers has given away his position. And he is being pressed by FPX a little bit. And now they're going to attempt to defuse. Zipan is on a bit of a wider angle and holds down the fort whilst Angel could get in a defuse. The two rush there. But so is the attacking up on CNED. Yeah, Sand feel just a little bit bogged down at this point in time. It's 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 so many different inputs. They just don't work and well. Shadow again, the slightest angle over the edge that makes it work. Zeke knows, gains information, but gets eliminated in the process. Once more, HP-wise, it's not looking great. And well, manpower-wise, even worse. Three versus two, where FBX even got the blades out, which should now work by the books. As Starksville puts in a bit of information, it immediately gets eliminated. That thought is gone. Starksville should be gone as well. And so it's another round brought Oh, I mean... Map, find. It's very much built on the mind games, the rotations, trying to play in cheeky areas and play with misinformation. But Dimasic, he doesn't fall for misinformation. He goes to grab it himself and he gets everything he needs. A nice 2k and he takes a sliver of damage. Still has armor. And Zeke with a response in mid is going to be met by Angel. Zeke's going to keep pressing and FBX now just shutting down everything that Ascender looking to try and do. Everybody who's just coming in their way, eliminated. Them against these exceptional retakes from FPX. I mean, the matter of fact that Chow is getting such room, it's absolutely nasty. Seek those coming back. Ascend desperately need those rounds, and well, those is a very nice term. The first they definitely need. Chow's having none of that. Please leave the site. Well, sure thing. Have a nice day, mate. See, that's obviously leaving. Uncle got a bit of control of that. Well, he looked for the triple wire desperately, puts up a simple wall, gets himself that one up, and now the rotation's gonna come in. Now, are they gonna be that fast? No, nope, it's still the annoying snake bite coming down as though Demasic whiffs. It's information that has been gained, and well, that's that two versus four. Still something that I could see working here with Angel and Chow. Yeah, it's how they really adapt with this information because they're doing things carefully. The toxic screen on B is going to keep the attention of Angel 
it consistently, but now he's on a nice spot if anybody decides to push him. The upgrades are still there to save Wolf. Aquiles hasn't gone down. This is a great chance for Angel to keep pushing, but Bone Cold finds himself on a nice angle. Now, Shao, question is, do you go for this or save the operator? The money's going to be good considering, well, you're 7-0 up. It doesn't really matter that you lose the gun in the end, but fire backwards. He's taking a bit of mid control until somebody else has taken that over. And now he realizes what's coming towards him. But obviously, Xiao is somewhat in the safe spot, though he's with it. Now escapes again, hopes for reinforcements. They're coming over. Okay. But no scope from Xiao. He's going to open it up again. But finally, his time has come, or more likely, it has expired. Brilliant stuff, though. He's once more delaying it. And also, casualties on the side of Ascend. Just a little bit too much at that point in time. Work him around the pit. This is what they still try to do. The wall is going to go up at that point in time. And as Bone Cold falls, it's, going down. it's down. And no more vision. And suddenly, as they had the advantage with blocking it, it's still going the way, though. Ascend still have the Emasic to find. And it could be the clutch of the Sentinel. Works with one. Seen it knows that this is far in the open. He's trying to bait it. Goes for the fake once in a while. He knows where he's standing. Is he going to find him? He does. And then VX bring it home. It should be enough time-wise. That's going to work easily. Which fashion some of them, but... Doesn't change the matter of fact that they still can come back quite well with this. And this time, they take a lot of room towards mid. They leave that position unguarded. Zippin could be still on to find a little more, and definitely is. The double is not secured, though. And as Bone Cold comes in from behind, the flank has worked brilliantly. FPX have pretty much left A now unguarded. Neurofifth is going to show where these Ascend players are playing from. The information needs to be acted on soon, because slowly but surely, Ascend are just going to back up. They've got a lot of post-plant utility. Spike isn't in default, which could be a bit more problematic, like that the poison cloud no. if it was on the high ground, or a snake bite that just sort of misses. But Xiao, oh, no. now coming to try and open this up, Angel plays in. Not again. And I really, like, now we're starting to see Ascend be a bit more wobbly. Like, even the post-plant utility, a snake bite going into the corner to check it. It was relatively easy for FPX to just be able to manage to make their way through to yellow. Pretty much unharmed. Dimasic trying to spray through, break the wall, or at least maybe get a kill. But the recon dart is a really nice one to get that information in. Fortunately, now for FPX, they have to play a bit more set back. I love this wall now because Xiao doesn't really have a good shot in to clear, even towards the back of its CT. He's going to try and see if he can get something in that little gap that was left. But Zeke is sat on the other side waiting. It would be number 10. Double digits that FPX could already obtain. The two-man disadvantage and Xiao whiffing the shots. It should make it pretty much impossible. As I say that, Shadow Spray Control, unfortunately for him, not on point. Another sign of life, fine. Defensive Icebox, then yeah, that's very difficult to uproot. That's certainly difficult to kill overall. And I love the fact that if you look at Shadow, you can see when he goes into some Viper's utility because his face just goes bright green. Yeah. <laughs> I love those face cams. I'll it's, point it out when it happens next. Go ahead, and, and well, then we're going to see a bright green face, but Chow is whiffing a few shots by now. The last few rounds didn't go according to plan for him, as usually a world-class Sova has well, swapped classes for this, and Ascent got all the control over this fortress. Nothing that the slightest besiege tool should make it possible to take that B-side. As though Sippin is on it, already drum and bass playlist is... Tune to the max. Get the revive still going. He doesn't care. There's the revive. Seen it whiffing the shot, but it doesn't change the matter of fact that Shadow is obviously chanceless. Nice. It, not a big surprise, to be frank. Poor Seek should just be ending in the grave very soon, and that is already happening. Absolutely obliterated as first he got rabies and then the bullet in the chest. Horrible scenario for him. But the wall going up should allow them to get that very simple bomb planned. As I say that, obviously it's laser-like accuracy coming in from CNET. The slightest gap in the wall is allowing him to have a great vision over on Angel. Still needs to do the magic dance. It is not happening and the belay of the death-defying acrobat is leading to his death. Shadow and Demon Sick got a chance. Don't get me wrong, but he needs to be by the book from Shadow. By the book, I call it. Well, not happening this time around. Ascent are coming back. Well, Ryan, here you go for mid and obtain control over to the B side to some degree. Uncle's not sure what's happening here. Hold on, Shadow got that plant down, but not only that, Shadow's flank is going to eliminate him easily. It seems like the side of FBX might just make perfect work with this force, but as I say that, all collapsing. Left, right, and center nobody seems to stay alive and 15 HP on Shadow is not going to make it much easier for him. Do you know what's funny about that play as well? Like the dashing through mid. 
I think some people held it to a testament of the new Vision Strikers because they did that recently. But actually, this play Ninja comes Zelda. way out from Ninjas in Pajamas. Eric just took it from his brother. <laughs> Points. 100, Fubalist, Gambit, Liquid and Fnatic are only above them. FPX, well, they have to do pretty well in this tournament. Otherwise, they might, might not even make the last chance qualifiers in Stage 3. Imagine that. That's wild. That would be a, a big loss. And Ascend is already making FPX worry enough. Let's not add that little narrative point on top of it. Because all of these fights now, FPX are starting to win. Could be their first round of this attack so far. And they're putting in a lot of pressure towards A Seekers, however. But one of them is going for the wraparound, which could catch on to this Viper. Bone Cold could have his position given up. And Angel, whilst he takes the peak, takes the majority of damage but catches him on the back. That Seekers is nice, but there's so little time to get this fight planted. Yeah, they gotta run. And if there's a single obstacle, then that would start to worry. But it's on this B site whilst the rest of FBX are heading A. Down. Angel Swole is going to go down, and at one point in time, they realize nothing is awaiting them over on the B side. And this is where Angel strikes. Sarso waiting backside is not going to really find too much at that point. Still goes in, can't get anything out of that. And it's FPX who seem to prevail, except it's some CNET action. And we're talking about CNET action. Surely he's the one to always look out for. But he can't have all corners checked. Man doesn't have free heads checking left, right, and center. That's not happening. SPX will get that 11th, coming closer to map number three. And look at Shadow, he's coming from green to red. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now's a good chance to really, to really watch it and appreciate it. I think as well, what's funny, like from watching the player cams, wait on the jet and refuse to show face. It was literally just a bit of plug and play and seeing that it worked out so well. And has it worked out so well? Xiao is... Re reliving the times where he's been on the duelist because for the majority of FPX's lifespan he's been on the silver and now Dimasic finding those timings maybe catching yeah. on to the jet but can't get jet the sage of Kiles and CNED the up on this defense oh. holding down the fort but there it goes the killing machine from Turkey striking with full force Darso has also joined the party with his hunters Fury but Xiao got the reply, and as you mentioned, mostly was more in a supportive role with playing Sova. That says me he doesn't have the quality of a duelist. And Demasic, even if he's Sentinel, he also has this quality. Sees both players back there in the middle, and might be just so useful. Starks will still strikes, and as Xiao is patiently waiting, there comes the bullet, doesn't have a chance. As soon as possible, Zipan very close to having a resurrect, but Zeke takes him out. He has the res, but Zipan's not going to be a part of the round any longer. One of the problems in Super FPX at this point, the mid control they try to obtain, which they very much do, seeing that it's one of the worst timings he could have ever asked for. And obviously, this has opened up a lot of room, and Fox pressure's now getting a bit down. bigger on Ascent. This is an operator gone, the duelist also vanished at this point in time. Surely they still have Seek, but now this is vital information. Ascent pretty much united themselves over on middle, and th the awareness is there. They know right at this point that they're all coming over to the site. Demasic needs it perfect time and can't do that very much, but Xiao is still on it. And obviously we have talked about him being a perfect sort of supporter, but there it goes. The triple comes in, goes up in the air and finds them all with the play. It still has to be eliminated at some point, but this two versus two is winnable. Shadow is taking all the information, sees one close by to the bomb, and this means Angel's just coming in with the lineups. Not only that, the flash is there. Seek, does he even have a chance or survival at that point in time? Will it be a clutch by the book from him? Will it or not? Almost. Nope, it ain't happening. It's not Xiao on this jet. Yes. It's these kind of little tricks that maybe put FBX into a position. They're looking incredible right now. And at this point in time, how strong FBX can be from time to time. Oh my but god. That's not the biggest surprise. It is even how good Xiao can be, but. At that point in time, Ryan, it's seen that who needs to deliver one of a kind performance. We know he can be that hero in such scenarios, but now to get all the information, seen that flags finds one, but not much more than that. As Shadow and Co are already entering the side, or pretty much waiting in front of the gates. The revive is here, and still they're fighting. No real chance seems to come in. Ascend have big time issues at that point in time. Yakila is holding on. They know pretty much where he's going to be. Tries to take the peak. Wins one duel, but he has to try and heal. That's good play from Dimasic to instantly catch up on the kill. Nice trade. 
Now Seek with a Spectre. That's Aww. one, but they're on an individual basis. Seek, meanwhile, is just waiting for some sort of preparation at that point in time. There's a lot of control towards A-Long has already been obtained. Same goes for a short. but Seek doesn't see a thing. Man, is now taking out the equation. Same goes for seen it. A dramatic start over on the side of A, but Bone Cold continues to join the party. Angel's just coming around, switches it over to the Ghost. That's exactly the extra equipment you want. And so Angel at least gets one. Spikes on the ground. The pressure is high. The Chaos already ascended down to the side of A. And you see it right there. Bone Cold and Keyless just waiting it out at that point in time. They're taking this very carefully because this is a winnable fight. There are a couple of players low on health, but Dimisic winning out. Now it's just a one versus two. Oh. Keyless could snap onto one out of his trilogy of Star Wars, the prequels. But anyway, Nick is going to make his way in onto the site. Another buy up. There's been a few of those, and that Guardian does find a little success for Angel. He's traded out from the Marshal, and it's to making this work. A nice little peek out of Zeke to catch on to the back of that C site. The Hot Hands is going to create a bit of space to allow the spike to go down. And the dash, maybe not expected from CNED, manages to take a close aggression against Zipan. But Zipan's gifted a kill, and now it's a two versus three in favor of Ascend. Yeah, CNET though knew what's good. He wants to pick up that Guardian. Still, it's not good enough at that point in time. Sipping with him like that. Man, and, he's and gonna they, peek it. They can at least pincer it, but yeah, he's gonna peek it. The recurring theme of a Guardian presented to you by Ryan Central, but in the meantime, it's at least something that Demas could do about it if he's just not checking the quarters according to plan. I mean, I understand that he's doing it that way, but nevertheless, a costly round for FBX at this point in time, and it's not like it seemed that they put up a proper fight in this one, Ryan. Yeah, Shao again just wasn't sure how he wanted to play that. I thought that FBX under that amount of pressure were just going to play off the site, play for a full 5v5 retake, use these guns, get a kill so the neural theft can be used potentially but shao just caught in no man's land nobody anywhere near to trade or stop the plant going in not ready today to be honest i was driving the car here so don't worry uh there it, it had to come in I at some that. point <laughs> but it's not really a, a good metaphor for this fbx have done well but now they're not but this is a nice little response they come out in numbers and the rolling thunder that you highlight from shadow does come through it attaches on to ziku with the blaze is going to buy himself some time cned does a lot of damage to shadow and zeke is there to follow up the two-timer is able to get those openings and it's still winnable for fbx the spike hasn't been planted that's why we're taking it so patiently but angel sees the butt of the gun there from zeke He's actually going to get pushed by CNED just a little. And there's space for Shout to push, but he's so scared. He has to do this carefully. The two duelists holding on for Ascend. Last Able to see a bit of the haircut. Oh, Phoenix in the end, but ain't happening. For me, this is looking like... And this might be just a harbinger of an A-side push. Patiently waiting in front of the gates of the site until Angel... Seem to have an easy one, but seen and having the peekers advantage. There's a perfect wow. flashbang coming over the site. So well coordinated. But as Bone Cold also uses his ult at the right time, where nobody's paying attention to heaven. Nah, I, I'm not going there. That's pretty much what Sippin is saying with his body language. Nah, no interest. See you guys in the next round. But a seventh one for Ascent. It's absolute domination from them at this point. Looking at FPX, the players that have died, it's a lot of, you know... Biting their fingernails, adjusting, it's uncomfortable, but this is the send of what they're able to do. Seeing the cold hat killers on the left hand side. Look at Bone Cold. He's out he's out. He's he's got his mean face on. And it's Keyless that catches on to Dimasic. And yeah, he's having to just play with his beard. The the body language for FPX is a little bit one that's worrying. They all look concerned. Especially when you're down this hard in this third map. Whoa. I, I gotta be honest with you at this point. It, it seems like they're very much aware that they split this position open that much. And the defensive mechanisms over on the C site, I mean, non present. How the camera can, missed him. How can he go so far? The camera missed him. No. Angel's way. not checking. This is absolute disaster, Ryan. Dimisic had the camera in tunnels to check across it, but he wasn't looking at it at that point. No. He goes down as well. 
FBX not really able to find the information. Over rotating. They're looking incredibly sloppy, but somehow they've brought things closer. Zipan, you picked up the raise. Let's see what you can do with it on Haven. There's no other satchels to find a spot, and it really doesn't do all that much damage. Zeke left. is holding on to the high ground a little. He's going to drop down and plant the spike. Uh -oh. The Eldron is going to force Zenit off this angle. He knows that Zipan is still in garage, and this is a tough one to hold. But FBX are a bit slow on the approach. Oh my god! Uh, it's gotta be only one. C could turn this one around as Phoenix. The newest edition of Ascend cannot prevail in this one. Oh. And is he gonna just jump in it? Yes, he does, but seen it whiffing. A rare sight, you could say. Angel, though, is absolutely on it. One enemy and it's Darks who fakes the plant. FPX are back in it. At least for this round, they feel confident in their approach as Kilos is the last man standing. Eliminated and taken out. Well, 8-4. Two tripwires that have already been put up. And Sippin' and Chow just wait for the right kind of timing. Call together. Tripwire is going to come in. And oh, this is going to be very uncomfortable. Sippin' is not going to be affected by it. Blindy is nevertheless. And Zeke's going to take him out. And that obviously causes Shadow to now chime in. Gets at least one of them. But Keyless... He's holding the defense. It's too strong. Ascend are once more on it. But HP-wise, it's looking not so great. Everybody's pretty much wounded at that point in time. And as they're looking to still obtain control, it is one more man standing. Angel has to clutch it all on his own. The blades are just whirring around his head. Finds the first. The other two are low on HP. This might be just his clutch, but it works in the end. Sipping to play the guard of that position, but nah, they're actually rotating away and they're realizing, you see it on the minimap, they have heard that everybody's pretty much coming from B-Link at this point in time. Okay. And Stark so and his utility so far, pretty much perfect. Two smokes have been planted, zip and taken out. Stark so could still pop another flash, but that most definitely is the case. He sees the player just Ooh. under heaven, but everybody's coming in. Dazo, he's gonna be able to try and hold in, and Kielas has been here the whole time, and he's gonna take a fight no. against Demon Sick, but loses it. That is a duel that looked like it could have been done easily, but that ain't the case. Starks are coming in, loses a bit of HP, but it could be the time for Seek to now show what he's capable of doing. Can't even find the first. Unfortunate ending for him as he's absolutely flashed. And Bone Cold now could make the decision for his teammate. Just save this, mate. 17 points of health, impossible task ahead, and a rifle to be saved. <laughs> Well, either way, it's looking like at least a bit of control is going to be taken by Shaw right now, trying to gain information if everybody is clear yeah. to take mid control. And as you see, they're already standing in front of the gates of it. Flashbang has coming in, and while the light is blinding, Ascent might find their first finally, but no, I'm actually taking that one back. It's still man equalized. Keep on FBX are leaning towards this position. Uh -oh. CNED, I, I feel like they could come from any angle, and he's going to get this first kill. Shadow needs to be careful here. They're just going to peek out, and Angel tries to no. trade off of it. Oh, oh my god, that's an insane shot from CNED. How does he do that? You can't be doing that. It's absolutely magic. He performs, and Ascent is fine in the round. That Multiple 10, 10, 20, 30 LAN experiences. A decade full of Counter-Strike in-game leading. And a Turkish wunderkind with an operator no scoping. Who's gonna win? Right? It's, <laughs> it's absolutely insane, but away from that. They don't want to get that one too much in their head. Seek's already out. Kilo's there with that stolen potential i think he hasn't really done all that much to stop fpx once they get in on form but stars was there to help angel yet again playing the mind games phone call finds one is trading out but suddenly these numbers are coming in look at where dimisic is he's managed to completely take that open site the nerf is going to shut that position ascend no it's going to be an a hit but seen it's lurking in behind he has the up and he's about to find shell potentially if he gets the right timing Specifically, Rolling Thunder. I mean, that thing is... If anything if anything is getting critical, that should make a change. But as I say that, Shadow's gonna be the first one out. CNET is once more running to find the round for him. Of course, it's the Turkish Airlines player getting it high up in the sky. And Keyless, a neural theft, but... Ah, it's not nice. It's really... It's really unfortunate. And there you go. You know, the thing I thought about, right? Imagine if CNET... The sky to get out of there. 
And oh, unfortunately, Shadow goes down. He was one away from having a rolling thunder. And there's no race, there's no safety, there's no way he's coming back into this one. Nope. Under no circumstance. I know exactly But they still continue to keep up the fight. Here is great information that has now been gained by Bone Cold and Stark. So they still are able to maintain control and keep it up in their favor. And you see right there, Bonko still has some smoke, has at least one smoke now retrieved. Also a long control that is now theirs, but they know that good old Stark is back there. I mean, there's no universe where he shoots oh, no. away. No way, that just happened. Sipping down to 26 points of health. Bonko has gained all the information. And as they're in front of the gates of the seaside, they've conquered it. But it's again seen that who strikes. One more to go, but Sipping falls.